as the lockout lingers, a couple top free agents wonder where they're going to be playing in 2011. And one of those is a top cover corner, Namdi Asamoah, who is not going to be going back to the Oakland Raiders next season. Eric, with the passing lead the NFL's become, tons of teams would love to have Asma on that roster as a corner, shut down a wide receiver, really change opposing teams' offensive patterns. And a couple NFC East teams could be looking at him. Yeah, I think when you look at Asma, you know, Dar Darrell Rivas, a handful of other guys, like you said, can change the way you play a team. Uh, you know, you can pressure, you can play man defense. Asamoah is so good at press coverage. And that seems to fit into the styles of the Dallas Cowboys. You know, Rob Ryan, the new de defensive coordinator, would love to have what his brother Rex has in New York with Revis. I think you have to put them at the forefront. They'd probably cut Terrence Newman. I'd throw the Eagles up there, too. I don't know if they're willing to spend with, with Asante Samuel already on the roster, making a lot of money, two different styles of cornerbacks. But I do know that new defensive coordinator Juan Castillo, he wants to pressure. They want to get back to that Jim Johnson style of blitzing defense. Awesome Wall would allow them to do that. And then you got the Redskins, who they've talked about. Yep. Carlos Rogers probably not going to be back there. They could use another cornerback. Then there's the Detroit Lions. A couple people thought they maybe used their top pick on a cornerback. Yep. Some pinned maybe Prince Amakumar going to them in the first round. They passed. They went defensive line. They could always use an upgrade in that passing defense. So they might take a look at Asamoah to help their secondary. No question. I think it's a, it's a good fit for them. Anyways, cause we know they love to spend in free agency. They've obviously made other mistakes. Guys like Albert Hainsworth, they took on McNabb last year. That didn't work. They've got a history of it under Daniel Snyder. The Lions, I think they'll kick the tires. I don't know if they'll get involved. Yeah, they would love to get a right cornerback who can who can match up against number one receivers. I, I just don't see them being able to afford that with all the good contracts. And Dominican Sue, Nick Fairley, Matthew Stafford, they've had to take on recently. I'll throw another team out there. I don't see it as a landing spot. I'm curious to hear your take. Tampa Bay. They could lose a keep to leave to suspension. They could end up just cutting the guy. But there's still a Tampa 2 defense. Do you want to spend that kind of money on a, on a cornerback when you play that style? Well, that's a chance they have to decide if they want to take. I mean, there's a young team that was the upstart team last year, and you throw a guy back there that, again, makes a difference. Yeah. And if they could find a way to fit him in that Tampa 2, why not take a look, give it a shot, if they can continue to improve their secondary uh, because they got some good stuff going, a lot of young talent. That could be another spot for them. That's a good sleeper right there in Tampa Bay. But it does look like the NFC East could be the leader. Where do you think Namdi Asimov is going to end up and who will he be covering next season? Let us know on Twitter, Facebook, or ProFootballWeekly.com.